What's going on guys? We're the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Back at you with another video review. I'm Mark. And I'm Maury. Mark was nice enough to bring over a little vertical of Bourbon Barrel Plead the Fifth from Dark Horse out of Michigan. We got a 2013, a 14, and a 15 here. And they're in the same order in our glasses, 13, 14, 15. And so, I mean, we've had these beers before. I don't know if I've ever had a 2013. I've had these. Yeah, um, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we're going to do a little vertical here, and we'll let you know what we think. Wow, fruity like that. It does have a fruit. dark fruit component to it and bourbon and oak. Yep, definitely some bourbon still. Little bit of a fudginess. Not mm -hmm. intense, it's kind of mixed with that fruit dark fruit yeah. character. That smells great. Mm. All right, do the 2014. Let's do it. Yeah, this well. one's not as fruity. No, no, it's actually a little bit more of that chocolate. I get more, more chocolate yeah. and fudge on Still this Still bourbon. One. Lots of oak, lots of wood. There's a hint of dark fruit, but it's definitely not as yeah. much dark fruit mm -hmm. as the uh, 2013. Last but not least. 15. Mm. This one has the slightest aroma on it. It's, yeah. Would you say it's the least intense? Yeah, it's, I have to go back again here. I would say there's not as much barrel character. Oh, it's more of a roast yeah, I was getting and that. a molasses. It, I was thinking like a butterscotch or... But yeah, like maybe molasses is what I'm thinking. It definitely is not nearly as bourbon. It's not nearly as chocolatey. It's it, yeah, nothing. It's, it's almost like a candied sugar. <clears throat> it's real sweet. And matter of fact, on this 2015 bottle, I almost feel if you were going into this blind, you might not get that this was bourbon barrel aged yeah. right off the aroma alone. <clears throat> 13. Wow. That one tastes aged. <laughs> it, it follows the nose, too. Perfectly. <clears throat> Dark fruits, a little bit of bourbon, lots of oak, lots of wood. Yes. And some chocolate. Yeah. Definitely woody. Nicely Low carbonated. carbonation, well, but it's... Appropriate for the, the style. The mouth for, feel, yeah. Oh, yeah. And for the age. Oh, man. I'm surprised it has that much carbonation left. Mm. You can see it more in the glass than you can actually on the mouthfeel. Yeah. Actually, that's pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. A little bit more dark fruits in this one, I think. A little more, uh, get a little more alcohol. Not not necessarily bourbon, but the actual alcohol <coughs> flavor taste, yeah. the taste, yeah. It's similar to the 13. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's the same beer. You can tell it's a little different, too, though. You know, there's just subtle differences, which it should, but... Mm-hmm. Wow. It's still probably a little too cold. Mm-hmm. But similar, a little bit more, like, opposite of the aroma. I agree with you. A little more dark fruit mm -hmm. on, on the taste as compared to the aroma right. on this one. But certainly bourbon, certainly chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> it's good. It's still good, yeah. Wow, that one is the creamiest mm -hmm. to me. And I think it has something to do with the carbonation still, level, too. Yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah, a little bit more of just, again, just like the aroma. You know, got a little bit of that, like a molasses. <clears throat> almost a brown sugar. I'm something yeah. sugar. Almost a burnt sugar, maybe. Candied sugar. And on the 2015, you can taste the bourbon more than you can smell it. Yeah. But it's still not as prominent, I don't think, as the 13 and the 14. Yeah, I agree with you. It's still tasty, though. <laughs> oh, they're all delicious. I mean, it, it'd be, you know, it's almost, it would be awful mm -hmm. hard to sit there and pick a winner, you know, of which which is better than the other, because they're all real, real, real similar. I think, actually, 2015 is 
a little more different than these two are. Oh, definitely. Like these, these are, it's, it's, I think it's definitely different. They it, are. It delicious. almost tastes like to me with the 2015, like either A, they didn't age it in barrels for as long, or B, they use like once used barrels. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you can still t use, I still get some bourbon and stuff like that. Yeah. And it tastes aged for sure. But almost yeah. more of a light bourbon, more of an oak age, like yeah. a, you know, a woody um, tannin to it. Whereas this, these are unmistakably bourbon. Yeah, well, absolutely. All right, for Mark Pyle's barrel age, plead the fifth vertical. Uh, we sat here and sipped on these a little bit and let them warm up. And uh, what I came up with is the 2013 uh, I'm gonna rate in the middle uh, I'm gonna give it a 4.25 um, it, it's 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 aging great mm -hmm. it's delicious it's mm -hmm. the lowest carb to one out of the three but still some carbonation there it's also the most dark fruit forward I think after sipping on it some more uh, and after smelling it some more um, and I think 2014 has a little bit more fudginess and a little less dark fruit, fruit and just a touch more carbonation. I'm going to give the 2014 a four and a half, making it my favorite. And then moving over to 2015, as we said earlier in the review, it's just a little less bourbon forward, a little less fudgy, a little less everything. Real nice carbonation level. Um, it's smooth. It's oaky. Still delicious, but I'm going to give that one a four. So for me, 2014 comes out on top, then 13, then 15. Okay. Um that were pretty pretty similar. Um, 2013, 2014. I can't I can't give a different score. I mean, they're they're, they're both very good in their own way, you know. <clears throat> um, but this will be four two five, four two five, and uh, this one I'm going to give it a four. The actual 2015. Um, yeah, it's missing some of that barrel character. Listen, missing some of the 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 bourbon or you know all that. It has a little bit more sweetness. Um, that's not. The actual, you know, dark uh, fruits and stuff. Uh, I expect a little bit more. Only being, I don't know. I'm not even sure when the 2016 is coming out. So yeah, I don't know how much age this actually has. What What is this? Uh, it's been May? out for a bit, Josh. When did yeah. we drink it? You know, it was a while back. It's, I would say it's probably got six months on at it, least, or yeah. close yeah, that's to what it. I'm yeah. So, you know, I was expecting a little bit more bourbon from this. Yeah, and these two, a little bit more alcohol and bourbon forward. Lots more. Of the, uh, you know, the woodiness and the oakiness and the barrel character. So four two five, four two five, and the twenty fifteen, still solid, still very drinkable beer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give it a solid four. Yeah, and you know these were close to me. I think I rounded down a little on yeah. the thirteen and rounded up uh, to yeah. a four point two five. Yeah, they're just close. to separate them for review's sake. But they're really close. I agree with you. Yeah, I like them all. Uh, thanks for bringing these over. You're welcome. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheese, <laughs> fine octane beers, fine combo. Except that the review, it's like an exercise routine. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to drink a beer and relax after this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>